Turn up the issue, I'm dying to give you the problem you practically begging for. Don't waste a minute, I'm mentally in it until my contender is never more. If you start it, I'ma finish it. Cut them off from the period. You feel like an alpha to meet the omega. Time's up, I'm the end of it. I am the finisher. You started, I finish it. I am the finisher. Soon as you started, I finish it. It's the final call, now your time is up. Game over, it's the end of it. I am the finisher. Hello everyone, and welcome to Battle Pros Wrestling Episode 11. My name is Zojin, and with me I have it my commentary partner. Hey, Chaos is back again for another commentary round, and we got a packed show tonight. Indeed. We are starting off with some... Well, it is kind of tag team action, in a sense. It's a singles match which is to warm up for the tag team tournament match which will take place next episode. Yes, we got Kiki Sanders versus Corey Briggs. The loss versus the mean. And I have to say, I'm very, very curious about how this is gonna go. The last time the Lost Girls and the Mean Girls got into the ring together, the Mean Girls beat them in under a minute. The fastest victory in BBW history, period. So, sure. The Lost Girls did regain some momentum. They retired the Chrome Hearts, but will they be able to bounce back against the Mean Girls? It seems they have their number. Yeah, retiring the Chrome Hearts is no easy task. But it seems like these two ladies have decided to step up their game as of late. Yes, but have they stepped it up enough? That is the question. So the one that is taking on Kiki is the one in the back with the red hair and the very glowing attitude. She is an MMA fighter, which is going to clash against Kiki Sanders style style of wrestling. The last time we saw Kiki Sanders wrestle solo, it was against Aubrey. She didn't win, but she injured her in the process. Yeah, neither one of these teams knows the meaning of taking it easy. So we're gonna see some interesting action tonight. Alright, Kiki Sanders, Corey Briggs. The match begins. And immediately Oh what the, <laughs> what the Stacy just hit Nightmare with a suicide dive. And Kiki going for the quick cover. And uh, uh, just like that? The mean Girls taking the opportunity to sneak a win out. This is the second time they've beaten them in under a minute, Chaos. Yeah, and I don't think they should stick around too long unless they want their heads taken off. The Lost Girls really need to get their crap together for the tournament match, man. Two times, third times might be the charm, but... Eesh. Break your oh. spine. Oh, God. Get that catch into that sp and backbreaker. And calling Susie up. For the rest of us. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Huge that back elbow. She calls that a jawbreaker. Yeah, that's a that's jawbreaker. That's a good name right. for it. Oh, wait. Is it time for the decapitator? or Are we going to play, no. nope, play a little bit more? No, we're going to play a little bit more. No, I don't think so. I think she's lining her up. Oh. Uh-oh. Looking to end this real quick. Oh, my God. That's that, got to be it. That looks like Susie just hit a dead end. Yeah, and it's over. Yeah, Susie is out.
Maria seems to be doing some homework on, on her opponent, but let's get into the next match now, shall we? This is one I have been also looking forward to. Despite it just being filled with goody two shoes. It's Ho Lung Wu versus Tomas Elrox in the men's singles tournament. Yes, Ho Lung Wu really carving out a name for himself as of late. And now he's going to have a lot more to prove with the veteran that is Tomas Elrox. The Dragon King, as it were. Though, Wu has been sporting a lot more battle scars the longer we have been going on. Comparing Wu now to the Wu when we first saw him, he's... I hate to say it, but he's been getting more and more beaten up as time has gone on. True, but he keeps coming back for more. The resiliency of this kid is amazing. Resiliency and heart will only get you so far when this man's on the attack. Tomas Elrox, the Dragon King, a severely underrated and underappreciated veteran in the car scene, trying to revitalize his career by coming to BBW. We saw it in his last time match, he had a banger of a match with Levon, and he's been undefeated since. He might be the first person to break Holon Wu's streak of ending undefeated streaks. Well, there's only one way we're gonna find that out, but this is a man you know very well, as a matter of fact, isn't it? Um, I am familiar with what he's done, yes. But, question is, how... Is Holong Wu gonna be able to adapt here? Like I mentioned before, his body has more or less been broken down, and Elrox specializes in taking advantage of broken bodies. Partially because he breaks them breaks them himself with backbreakers, but Wu is gonna be in a lot of trouble here. And Elrox has every advantage. He's stronger, he's faster, and he's bigger. Well, the combatants are set. Let's see who comes out on top on this match. Hmm. Much to my surprise, they're not immediately rushing on in. Seems like the two of them understand have an understanding at the very least as oh! Well, I don't know about understanding. Wu just got tossed like a fish. Speaking of toss. And wrestled right down. Alrex utilizing his technical skill there, going right into an arm bar, aiming for Wu's injured shoulder. I think he also understands he has to ground the high flyer very quickly, otherwise he'll be in trouble. Wu showing some technical ability of his own. Wu is more of a striker than a high flyer, but his stand-up game is significantly stronger than his ground game. So grounding him is the right, right call nonetheless. And again, he's aiming for that injured shoulder. But Wu not giving him any quarter. There's his striking. Knocks the big man down. Well, that's what Wu has to do in, the, in this match. He's got to use his speed to his advantage. Several oh, kicks to the chest. Alex stuck the kick. Sends him off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tilt a world backbreaker. The first one of the night. And I imagine that Elrox is going to show us a lot more. Yeah, we're just getting started. Orox now with a chin lock of sorts. And he's pulling back with where his knee is placed. It's going to hurt Wu's spine here. Aiming for that chink in the armor that he created with that backbreaker. Yeah, and if you look closely, his knee is almost go not quite on the shoulder, but getting close to it. And while he's not doing direct damage to it, the nerves that are connecting to it are... He's, he's definitely feeling it for sure. Oh. Wu gets up though. Going back to striking. Oh. Elrox blocked blocked it and Wu into a hammerlock. Switching from the back to the arm. 
He's got to be careful, though. They are very close to the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, Michinoku driver from Wu. He is small, but he is surprisingly strong. And here's what I was talking about earlier. Wu going to the top. What's he going to go for here? He could go for his blockbuster. Or he could just get caught. That's also yeah, an option. Yeah, crossbody countered. <laughs> right into that backbreaker. Man. Brother, I am telling you. I, I feel my back in spasms, and I'm just watching the match. Mm -hmm. oh! He, oh! he lift right to the gut and an elbow right to the back. Elrug's firmly Man. in control right now. This is almost hard to watch. Ooh, who gets out of the way? Call on elbow tie-up. Go behind. Ooh. Duck. Flips out of the German suplex. Kicks Elrux down. Oh. Elrux needs to slow Wu down. Now. Oh, no! Oh, going for that fake-out knee, but gets caught. Oh. Wu not... Wait, did you see that? Kind of. Did you notice that with Wu? He was clutching at his back after that. Yeah. Oh! I think the damage is starting to catch up to Wu now. Again, a lot of heart and resiliency, but... The but... Oh! Oy. Big kick to the back That's of the leg. That's ugly. Oh, caught the super kick. Let's twist him around. Leg trap German Oy. super kick into the corner. Now, like we mentioned, Wu is wrestling semi-injured here. His arm is his arm is not 100%. His legs, as you can see from the knee pads. And now I can't even imagine how his back is feeling. He can't lift the big man anymore. He has to rely purely on his strikes. And Elrux seems to have them scouted. Oh, he's going to go for a powerbomb. Ooh, not letting him have it. Sends him into the corner. John Wu drop. Oh no! Looking for that John Wu drop kick, but unfortunately, Elrod saw it coming and puts Wu on the top rope and just oh! throws him to the ground. Just that's the same move that injured Aubrey's neck, man. Well, Long needs to come up with a new battle plan because the longer this goes on, the the less chance he has of winning. The longer this goes on, the less chance he has of walking, let alone winning. Yeah, as he gets up after that, look at what it did. Backbreaker into the damn barricade. That was a Uranagi. And that looked, and that was effective as what it was. Oh, back to the back. Going for the pin. And and just barely kicking out at two there. I admire Ho Long Wu and his tenacity, but at some point the management might have to actually stop his run if he keeps getting injured like this. As Elrock's now wrenching back and on S the face with that cross face, and and STF camel clutch here, going to bend Wu like a pretzel. Wu, not willing to give up though. We have seen a ref stoppage in BPW before. The ref might need to do that if Wu plans on living, let alone existing after this match. Wu gets out of it, though, with an elbow to the face. And clotheslines Elrox out of the ring. Wait, where'd Wu go? Oh! I think that was from the top row. From the corner, that the was a big lot of double momentum. axe handle. Wu is back in control. Elrox is a little Elrox shaken. needs to slow down the pace. But Wu now. Springboard. Ooh. Beautiful dropkick right in the money. Going for the pin. Not enough. It's going to take a lot more than that to put down Elrox. The man used to be a world champion. Wu, again, has to finish this quickly. Otherwise, Elrox is going to... Wear him down. The long, like you said before, the longer this match goes, the worse it's gonna be for Wu. Wu with the go over, goes for that spinning heel kick, but gets caught. And now just some ugly ground and pound from Elrox. 
This is what he needs to do. He needs to take control of the match, match his pace, keep things his way. Elrux, back to a powerbomb. No! no code red by Ho Long Wu. Oh, John Wu dropkick! That might have rocked him. That might could be it. Oh, no. Elrux manages to kick out. Looks like Wu's setting up for another one. Oh, wait. Oh. Oof. Countered with the pop up power bomb. Oh, dead lifts him. Oh, second power bomb. He's looking to t try to break the ribs and back of Holong Wu. That's it. Oh, huge. Ooh, Atlas Rising. Huge shoulder breaker. Atlas Rising. Right to that injured shoulder. And what's he going to go for here? Ooh, Gory Special. Hangs on to the legs, though. What the hell is even this? I don't know, but it, it looks like this could be the end. He, There's no way you can escape this. It's like he's bending Wu's entire body with this hold. He's, it's, he's almost targeting every single limb all at once. The injured legs, the injured shoulder, the back, the neck. Wu is just crying in agony. But he's not get. He he needs to tap out. Well, he can't even tap. His arms are trapped. Oh! Gets one hand loose and punches, loosens, his, way punches his way out. Oh! Oh! Slamming the knee into the mat. Back. Back to those injured legs. The ones Arthur Reeves injured in the, in their epic rivalry. Looks like Elrux has got a new target. Just batters the knee. He has a good plan. Stops the strike. Stops the high flying. Oh. What is this? Like a figure four sharpshooter? A leg clover. Ingenuity from Elrox. Who's got Is it? Who's gonna finally tap? I, I'm having a hard time believing he's still conscious after all this. He is definitely feeling it, but oh, oh still targeting the those injured knees. He's getting his leg from underneath him. Who is still fighting back though? Now in the corner, Wu with those combination of kicks. Now back to the top row. Looks like he's gonna go for another dive. Ooh. Arox though. Oh, the knee gave out. Oh. His body finally gave out. The ref needs to call this quick. Ref, ref, stop the match, man. Oh my god! Seems like after an exchange of words, Elrox with the knee. How the hell is Wu still conscious? That that man has to be working on purely instinct alone now, as uh -oh. going for the overkill but reversed. Wu's trying to end this quickly. La Mata shall hold. Only a one count. Going, oh, going for that. his leg gave out on him again. Lifts him up. Oh, no. Oh, oh double knee breaker. Oh, shit, here we go. The four-leg clover. Figure four death lock. There's Whoa. no way Wu... If Ooh, Wu kid, doesn't just, tap out, his legs are gone. There's a time and place, kid. Just let it go. Ta there's no shame. You fought well. I. 
How does this kid have the strength to keep oh, going? He caught him. He caught him. Oh. Kicked out of two. Looks like Elrox is willing right, to, to finish this. Ooh, still fighting. Ooh, slips behind him. Jump. Ooh, jump with drop kick. Just the drop kick out of nowhere, but I think he senses that that's not enough. Oh, holy shit, dude. Going for the cover. Oh I my can't God. believe it. Somehow, Wu won. But is he going to be able to keep uh, going? I think he just collapsed in pain. Yeah, I think that answers your question, Chaos. Well, while Wu is being tended to by medics... Holy crap, that always scares me. Uh, while Wu is being tended to by medics, we are moving back to the Women's Singles Tournament. One of the most dominant women in, in our division. Well, one of the dominant factions. Well, not just a division in BBW, period. The Premier. Heck, I go one step further. One of the most dominant women factions in the entire call community. Mm. The woman that is on the right at one lance, she is, uh... I expected when the premiere to show up for Melissa Ridgeway to be the one in the singles tournament, but she is taking a back seat and allowing her sisters to be in the spotlight. A bit of a uh, surprise compared to how she used to be. Well, I guess that shows just how much faith she has in Athlon Lance. Which is fair because every time you've seen Lance, she has speared someone out of their goddamn shoes. Yeah, when you see dominance like that, how who wouldn't be have faith in that? But right now, a, a few Lances still might not be enough to take down this competitor. Well, you say that. But our uh, friendly lady here, with a nice hat by the way, Big Mama Ray, she came face to face with the premiere before, and she lost. Granted, she wasn't the one that was pinned, but still, she holds an L with the premiere being held above her. Yeah, it's been a while since the, these ladies have faced off too. As, as noted, they faced off quite a while ago. A lot has happened since yes. then, and both have changed. So the story now is who, who's got, who's got the bigger change here. Whoever wins, I think that this is probably gonna be one of the hardest hitting matches on the show because both of these people just like to brawl. And you know, I love me a good fight. These ladies are ready to rumble. And I'm ready to watch the wash some teeth get kicked in. Here we go. Oh, they're immediately grappling. Calling elbow tie up, trying to establish dominance. Neither lady giving an entry right now. The size difference is very apparent, but it doesn't seem to matter to either of them. Again, very, very interesting that both these ladies go in with a grapple when you know they're both strikers. Oh, just staring down now. Who's going to hit for... Oh! Lance strikes first. Going to go for the avalanche. Raised on top Ray of ducks. that, though. Oh, oh! Huge shoulder tackle. Raised like, no, I've seen how that movie plays out. Do not underestimate me. Well... Oh. Ooh, nasty form to the back. Sends off the ropes. Hops over. Ducks the clothesline. Ducks the clothesline again. Oh, Yakuza kick. And a leg drop. Ooh. Lance gets out of the way. Now a series of chops Ooh. and Big Mama returning the favor. She just absorbed that chop. Not absorbing these hits to the gut, though. 
A few cracks of the jaw, and Ray, Ray now firing oh. back. So one thing I have noticed, uh, Lance Ooh. very obviously has a speed advantage. Ray can just absorb some of her strikes somehow. Uh, well, right now, again, this is just a oh. Oh, <laughs> clubbing oh. blow. Hit with that right hook. Ooh. 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 I mean, come on, you gotta woo with that. That was a huge chop. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Nothing less than a woo is deserved for a chop like that. Back to the corner, Big Mama Way wind winding up, but only catching an elbow. Oh shit! Is she gonna be able to lift her? Can she do it? She's still trying. Oh, oh but Big Mama says Ooh. no. Oh, gets behind her, only to earn a form to the face. Wind up. Huge shot. You do not want to get in front of Ray's right Whoa. hand. <laughs> Just a yeeting back suplex. Lance. Still just a one count. Lance now realizing her usual strategy of spear everything does not work with Ray. She needs to set up for it first. Ooh, Speaking of which. Or not. Or not. There's one oh, spear. Ray is getting up very quickly though. An avalanche. Going for a second. Oh, catches the knee square in the jaw. Oh, yeah. And Ray is just sent flying out of the damn ring. One. Oh. Avalon Lance, this is premier, but he's Two. just looking on right now. As she's setting up. Oh. Three. That is a big runway for massive Avalanche. Four. Right almost into the barricade there as our premier teammates look on. Five. Yeah, Ray is out of it. Have a good reason. Just Six. full on power penetration to the stomach right there. Ray's gotta get up soon, otherwise Seven. he's gonna get counted out. Is she gonna be able eight. to recover? Well, we're in eight count. She's getting, she's stirring now, but she's gotta get in the ring. Nine. Oh, oh barely beating the ten count, but oh. only to be met with another avalanche. I remember what Lance did to Lori. Five avalanches was enough to crack Lori's ribs. Ray needs to be careful. Avalon now. Oh. Huge Ooh. boss. Boss woman slam right there. I was going to say Smoky Mountain slam, but yeah. As, oh, huge Ooh. pump kick Big to the boot. jaw. Oh, brother, brother. Follows up with a leg drop. <laughs> Lance now. Half Nelson slam there. Ray is in complete control. Oh! Osaka. Yoku Saku cutter. Osaka street cutter, yeah. And here it is. Smoky Mountain headbutt. Which means Ray going for the pin now. Oh, that's not enough. Close, but no cigar. First time that we've, first time that we've seen Lance in such a bad position. But looks like Ray is going to go right for the forever bomb. What? Catches him and knees to the back. Jeez. Elbows to the neck. Dragon sleeper, but nope. Ray punching her way out now. Going for that oh, Yakuza kick, kick again. Oh! Huge German suplex. Lance now, though, probably setting up for something. Oh, Big upper Just an uppercut and a chop. Just going, going ham. Just swinging for the fences. Beating the bigger woman down. Throwing every haymaker this she's got. Toughness. This is the toughness of Lance right here. 
Size difference does not matter. Ooh, Ooh. a cross-legged Boston Crab? Almost like a modified Stunt Rider stretch there. After working on Ray is back, this is a wise move. Lance likes to brawl, but she is a technical savant in her own right. However, she may have gotten a little Ray too though. careless there. Ray powers her way out of it. Oh, dodges the clothesline. Dodges the clothesline dodges again. Close line. Didn't dodge that one. Or that one. Or that Big one. Big Mama on the warpath now. Ooh. Went for that big backsplash, but didn't catch anything except those hands. Damn. Damn. Jesus Christ. Doing everything in her power to keep Ray down. She's gonna go for the avalanche again. Whoa! Oh, eats nothing but the turnbuckle. Oh, Ray. Lance kicks her back, though. Oh, mean form. Second one. Goes for the third. Oh, Eesh. just a boot oh, right to the top. Oh, And Zagiri. No, so, no selling on this one. Huge lariat to the back of the neck. These two are fighting with everything that they have. Oh. No way! Oh my god! Return to Avalon! Been a while since we've seen that move. She is pulling out everything against Ray. Well, you gotta with Big Mom around as Avalanche! Oh, Avalanche! Going for the pin. Here's the cover. No. Ray. So close, though. Still in there. As the crowd, like us, like me, is just loving this match. Yeah, I agree with the crowd. I want this match to keep going. Oh. Ooh, Wasteland. Senton. Big Senton there. Just absolutely crushing. Running leg oh, drop. Leg drop. Oh, the second one. A third one. Fourth. Oh my gosh, she's gonna crush her. Oh, Jeez. turn around for the sixth one. Big Mama now going all the way to the top. Oh, we very rarely see this. Smoky Mountain. Oh, oh but nobody home. Lance gets out of the way. Oh, just dodges the avalanche. Oh, oh, chop avalanche to the leg. Almost like a chop lock to that leg. And another avalanche. Uh oh, this might be the repeated lance. Oh! Ray gets out of there. Wise move. Just trying what? to recover from all those those avalanches in a row. Lance, though, is frustrated. If Ray was still in the ring, I think she would have had the win, but uh oh. Three. That's a huge run up, man. She's got to hit a big. Oh! oh! Spear oh, by a Avalanche from Ray. Ray! What a Five. hit! Oh, and just oh. bouncing her head right off the post. Busting Avalon open! Seven! Eight. Avalon. Wait. She can't see. She's swinging wildly. The blood's in her eyes. She can't see. Big Ma Ray easily blocking that. Time for a Bama Slamma. Jesus Christ. I thought she was from Tennessee. Yeah, well. Uh oh. She's a big. Oh! Smoky Mountain headbutt. And I think she's looking to put this away. With the forever bomb. Bomb! Good night. Thanks for coming, Lance. You did a great job, but this is Ray's night. Holy crap, dude. Give both of these women a round of applause. That was one of the best matches I've seen in a while. And big props to Avalon for having her teammates not interfere in the match at all.
I know they're not known for that, but I can understand how tempting it was to try and help their friend. One hell of a match, so. though. Ray moves on to the next round, meaning she's going to be fighting Nereza. Hmm. Maria and Yuria seem to be planning something. But either way, we are moving on to probably the most important manner on this show. Chaos, I hope you are prepared to pay respect to the future world champion of BPW, our number one contender, Ace Wheeler. <sighs> Can't, can't stand this guy. That's because you have no taste, Chaos. I swear, you're almost as bad as Matt with that. I swear, the, the only thing this guy can taste is the backside of someone because of how much his head is up his own. You know. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, Chaos. That aside, I am actually a little bit surprised to see Ace here open, doing his open challenge. His match with ZK was a pretty tough one. I guess it goes to show the kind of man he is that he's coming out here to wrestle instead of taking the night off. Honestly, he's kind of a role model. A role model that cheats to win. He injured a man's leg and then still had to take a low road to, to get that win. Eh, potato, potato. Dude, you're, compar you're doing potato to an orange at this point. Strong words from Ace to Matt Gray and uh, I don't recognize this music. Do you? Hmm. I'm not familiar with this. Where's what? He's back! Lee Jung Zhang? The last time we saw him, Damian Drake almost killed him! He's back and he looks very different. A lot more positive. Interesting. Matt Gray's apprentice. No doubt he's come out here to shut Ace up after what he did to Matt's best friend. But be careful. Seems like Ace has a has it out for Gray as of late. Mm. June needs to be careful about Ace. And again, Ace uh, immediately. Oh, Luthes press before the bell could even ring. Come on. Hey, the bell is rung now. It's not illegal. 
And he's sending Lee Jung to the corner. Oh, using his boxing acumen there. And just burying his knee in his face. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Welcome back. Yeah, big man having to attack a guy from behind like that. I bet if it happened to you, it would be a much different situation now, wouldn't it? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Ooh, spins him around. Just a, just a perfect artist form back suplex. That's the win already. Wow, that kid is actually a lot more resilient than I thought he'd be. Oh, oh, oh. Big kick to the head. Going for the pin again. Oh, come on, Wheeler. Come on, ref, look up. What? 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 His feet were obviously I didn't on see the anything. ropes. Ooh. Just paint brushing the kid. Oh, he might live to regret regret taking his eyes off the ball there. Oh, a short arm bar from Li Jun. He looks different, but his technical skill is still the same. Right into a neck crank now. Almost like an arm crank act, as it were, almost. Oh, but don't... Do not underestimate Ace's MMA experience. He can get out of submissions as good as anyone. And a fight as ugly as anyone, too. Flying Lariat. And a diving knee drop. Yeah, Wheeler now, again, taking oh. his eyes off the prize. What are you talking about? He's just feeling the adulation of the crowd. Could have easily gotten a two count if you were paying attention. Ah, uh, he, it's fine. The skill difference is so great, he doesn't need to be that try hard. Look, I've got... See that? Nice, Larry. I've got no issue with Wheeler's skills. It's his arrogance that I have issue with. Uh-oh. Sure gets out of the way of the elbow. Double underhooks. Beautiful butterfly suplex there with a bridge. Almost catching him. Ace matches to kick out. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. This is him taking his... It would be a travesty if our number one contender lost to a rookie like Jun. Well, this, that's what he would get if he took his eyes off the prize like that. If you're not focusing when you're wrestling... Oh, another suplex. Big Ooh. roll up. Nah, that ain't gonna work. There's no way you can pin him with a roll up. Oh, uh -oh. victory roll. Oh! Ooh, that was... That was a two count that time. Headlock takeover. This is what I'm talking about. Ace Wheeler has all the skill in the world, but his own arrogance almost... Super kick! Almost cost him now three times. The only thing it's going to cost someone is Li Jun Zeng his teeth. Look at Ace. He's in complete control now. Li Jun getting back up. What the f... Yeah, Ooh. shotgun drop kick. Since when could he do that? Seems like Li Jun's been actually training hard and practicing. Puts him in a hammerlock. We're getting out of it though. But he left his he left his gut wide open, and here we go, wicked warlock. It looks like he's looking to oh, finish this. He's going this. for it. Ace Crusher Type Two. It's over. What? ZK. He's here with the chair. Ace used to injure his leg. Big roll up. Bridging Wait, back. No, the bridge. No fucking way. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Take your eyes off the this prize. This is a travesty. He took his eyes off the prize and he paid for it. What did Ace ever do to ZK to deserve ZK ruining his undefeated streak like this? This is a crime. He injured his leg with a chair. <laughs> Nuh-uh.
Reeves again, trying to sink his tendrils into someone. What do you mean, sink his tendrils into someone? He's an investor. He sees potential. But that aside, this is going to be a very, very interesting matchup here. Lori vs. Maria Shaughnessy. Lori and Yuria. Yes. So I am curious about what Yuria and Maria were talking about before. She see Maria seemed very confident that she could beat Lori. And not fun to take away from Maria's ability, but Lori's no slouch either. Yeah, she's gone toe to toe with the best of them, and each time she has come out. She went down, but she went down swinging. She is a very competent wrestler, despite how weird she is. <sighs> well, we'll have to see how this pans out for her. Yes, here comes a different class of wrestler. The Undi Perry, the woman that defines this brand, Maria Chauncey. Did you learn French literally just to introduce her? Yes, did it did it sound impressive? Again, fan club. Anyway, I think I'm very interested in seeing this matchup because I want to see how Maria is going to handle Lori's unorthodox moveset. Yeah, admittedly, I'm curious too, actually, as this type of matchup is not one you see very too often, at least. Yeah, we saw Lori go against the technician and Ashlyn Davis, but Maria is a different style of technician to Davis, that's for sure. Lori's a bit unorthodox in her offense, so we'll have to see how this pans out. Lori seems a bit subdued. Well, the bell is rung, but neither mm. comparator is doing anything right now. Oh. Maria uncharacteristically offering a hand. And consulting Yuria now. This is odd. Uh huh? She. Wait. What? Did Lori just take a dive? I, I, I think she did. She did take it. What? So. Seems like there's huh. a new faction in town now. I hate to say it, but this is kind of brilliant. Did she really need to, to do that, though? She could have won the match on her own merit. Uh oh. Mm. Wait, look, is that Susie? Looks like someone else does take offense to that. Susie is all hmm. fired up now. Oh no. Oh no. Looks like, however, someone's on the hunt. I think this is the last person Susie wanted to answer her impromptu open challenge. I don't see Basira as one to be politicking like Maria, so I'm under I'm a little confused why Basira is the one answering this challenge. I think she just wants to hurt Susie. The last time Susie came face to face with Basira, Susie stopped Basira from attacking Davis after her match with her was over. And we both know Basira likes to be a sadistic bastard, so she might have taken offense to that. 
maybe in her eyes she let she was, was denied her prey and so wants another hunt as it were that I'm worried for Susie's sake bro Ashlyn Davis the woman's number one contender got defeated in under 10 minutes by Bazira. Well, we've got an, another new match now, so let's get it going. The two lock up in the middle of the ring. Bazira immediately starts working on Susie's arm. Trying to soften it up for the Cobra Clutch, but Susie kicks her back. Yeah, side headlock now. So ever since her defeat, her shocking defeats in the Reza in the first round of the tournament, Susie has been trying to build herself back up. The Susie that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maria Shanti might be more confident in this match. But this one? The one that got embarrassed by Nez? I don't know, man. Well, Susie right now trying to recollect herself as Basira is looking for something. Susie, though... Oh, the Goldilock! Locks it in right away. Almost immediately. This is actually a surprisingly bad matchup for Bazira. The reason why Bazira was gone for so long was because JJ snapped her arm. Oh! Just kicked, kicks her shins just right out from underneath her. And again. Those kicks are brutal, man. She's looking to try to snap those shins. Working on Susie's leg. Most likely trying to stop Susie's enhanced, enhanced agility already. Susie now is fighting back. Basira shutting it down real quick. Wrestles her down. Grinding her face into the ground. Oh, just a stomp to the spine. And a knee to the arm. Zero no slouch and is meticulously working over specific parts. Fish is as she is, she is incredibly intelligent as a technician. That's what makes her so scary. Headlock takeover Ooh, now. Nice flying. Yes, nice one from Susie. The zero, though. Uh-oh, going for the bite. Nope. Oh, no, she's just raking the face. She could go for the finish, but she just wants to pile on the pain. She letting her know, I had you right where I wanted you, and gets that triangle armbar in now. Susie needs to get out of this quick if she wants to get ahead in this match. And she does, pulling her right into a clover leaf. Texas clover leaf applied. Ooh, and wrenches back hard. Almost bending the Sierra in half. I will admit, I forgot. Susie is a very proficient technical wrestler. She could go toe to toe with Basira in this kind of game. Basira slowly Ooh. attempting to get out, but gets caught in a half crab now. Transitions from one submission to another and sits on it. Brilliantly done. That's that is, that is gross with how badly Basira's leg is bending. Alright. Basira now. Oh. Now it's her turn. Oh. Eesh. Just stomping Eesh. on the arm. Full weight onto the elbow. That's a good way to Matt. get your arm snapped off. And there's oh. the clutch. Oh. The Cobra Clutch. She usually transfers this to Look. Crossface, but she's just... Look at how she's just ragdolling her right now. Just the whiplash Susie has got to be immense. Um, Susie is very small, so it must be easy for Bazira to just fling her around like this. Well, damage to the next gotta be Susie immense. Gonna just wrenching on it. Choking her out with her own arm. But Susie gonna... Oh, right to the backbreaker. Back and another one. A second one. 
Jesus Christ! Zero looking to pin her now. Susie kicks out somehow. Stumbles to her feet. Huge jawbreaker there. And a super kick. Went for a second one. Big mistake. Eesh. Just straight right to the jaw. Stomping on the gut. Now just raking at the face with those claws. Into a sleeper hold. Bazira is torturing Susie in the center of this ring right now. Oh, Sleep. into a sleeper suplex. Just tosses her overhead. It's like that old saying, it's like that old saying goes, if you can't breathe, you can't fight. Yeah, and if your neck is compressed, you can't you can't wrestle. It's restricting the airflow and again, oh, now just stomping on every available appendage. She is stopping on... Oh! <laughs> Driving the Yikes. point of that elbow right into the forehead. Forget stomping a mud hole in her. She is trying to murder Susie. Big suplex there. A second one. Just tossing Susie around right now. Right. Grinding her down with these suplexes. And a third one, right into the pin. Susie kicks out though, at two. I Just getting the boots put to her by Bazira. Oh, gonna go for another suplex. Susie though, countering. Ooh, but oh, eats an elbow. Elbowed off though. Off the ropes now. What? Wheelbarrow Whoa. and catches the in in Indian Deathlock? A reverse Indian Deathlock knee bar here. Or a reverse figure four more like. Whatever it is, Basira has been caught by the toe as it were. Incredible that she's able to just get into these submissions from an aerial maneuver like that. Caught Basira completely off guard. Basira... Barely getting out of it now, but feeling the effects. Oh, huge Pele kick! Whoa, Susie is able to lift her up. GTS! Back into the Goldilock! Wrenching back on the arm now. She's gonna snap that arm! Basira looking very worried now. This is eerily similar to the position B Bazira puts Ashlyn Davis in. Susie wants to get revenge for her friend. Bazira's been in this lock a while now. Oh shit. Powered her up into a powerbomb, but Susie, she is still fighting. Super kicks kick. The, kicks her around. Oh. Cross Back arm into breaker. an arm bar. Just continuing to work over that arm repeatedly. Zira might actually tap out here. If Susie crosses her legs over, this could be it. The ref is watching Zira, making sure to see if she passes out from the pain. Or taps out, of course. Oh, wait, no. Whoa! Uh, That's the Sessie Taylock! That's Maria's armbar! Susie just wrenching back. But Sarah's now been in, a, in an arm hold for a while now. Her arms must be on fire right now. She she is... I think she's considering tapping out. Look at, a, look at that hand. She's considering yeah, it. Look at that arm. Oh. Slips off and shoves Susie away. Oi. Now she's working on Susie's arm. Eye for an eye, arm for an arm, as it were. Wait, this is how she beat Ashlyn, this exact comp- Oh, no. Nope. 
Oh, poison Rana. Dumping her on the top of her head. And now she's putting the boots to Bazira. Oh, straight to the jaw. Back and into right the back Goldilocks. To the Goldilocks. The how the heck that arm how? isn't still one piece is anyone's guess. Bazira must be using every piece of power she has to keep that arm from being snapped in half. She's reaching for the rope. She is desperate to try to get out of this hold. Yeah, Susie has had her in an arm bar for like five minutes. Lioness. That hand is shaking close. She's like, almost there. Bazira this vulnerable. Oh, she got there. She got there. But look, her arm is in tatters right now. Again, the fact that it's still on her is, is a miracle. Oh, right back to it! She's not stopping! Dragged right back to the center of the ring to do it again. Just the howls of pain coming from Basira. But she's not tapping. Oh, she slips out of it. Oh, a knee right to the top of the knee. head, but the, the damage is definitely done oh. by this point. Yeah, she she is fighting with a lot more ferocity now because she's in the bad straits. She is quite literally a wounded animal right now. Yeesh. Ooh, kick to the back of the leg. Oh, wrenching that ar oh, injured arm grabby. again. Oh, this is one of the ways she sets up for the Goldilock. Oh, but gets oh. pulled right off the top rope. Yikes. That's brutal. Just kicking the dirt up. Now Basira sending Susie to the corner. Oh, flips up. And, and a nice shoulder tackle right in the corner. All the way. Slingshot leg drop too. Susie going to the top now. She usually follows this up with a shooting star press, but would that be wise against Basira? Uh-oh. Looks like Basira caught her though. It's an arm bar of her own. The Falcon Arrow into oh, no. that arm bar and just twist the body around. Wait. The arm breaker. This is how she breaks people's arms. She might snap Susie's arm like a twig. Oh. oh, picks the ankle. No way. What? Sharpshooter. Right to the sharpshooter now. But she hasn't done much Such work on the back, so I don't know how effective this is going to be. Nonetheless, it's the sharpshooter. A whip. It's such a powerful submission, it m doesn't need much build up to begin with. Bazera might be out already. Oh. Whoa, no, it was a feint! Oh, trapping. She was setting up for this! And notice how she actually has the non hurt arm, which means the only her only escape now is the hurt arm. I don't think Bazera's gonna be able to get out of this because of that. A triangle arm bar sharpshooter. Oh, oh! She pulls her arm away. Goes for a lariat. That's a close line. Susie off the ropes. Oh, Canadian backstabber! No, yeah, but it's not enough this time. She might be going for it again. Yep. Oh, just right back to the Goldilock. There's. And she's wrenching it back so but hard. Sarah can't c couldn't possibly be able to stand this much more. If that arm isn't Bazira broken now, is, it's going to be in a few moments. Bazira is going to lose that goddamn arm, but she's not tapping. Is she literally going to let her arm snap before she gives up? Ref, you might have to stop this match. Wait. Susie lets it go. She realizes she's not going to get the win that way. Going right again for the Canadian backstabber. Oh Basira no! Oh! Sit out Alabama slam. Oh. 
Uh-oh. And no, he- no showing off, just into the bite. I think Basira realizes Gone that was way too close. Quickly. Holy crap, dude! Basira may have won that match, but she, she I think she know even she knows she barely survived. Susie just showed everyone that Basira is mortal. I don't know where Davis is right now, but she must have enjoyed watching that. Sira still basking in her victory, though. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I've, we've seen that look in her eyes before. Oh, she's gonna snap Susie's arm like a twig. Payback for all the damage she took in, with those Goldilocks. Oh, wait, no, she's not. Wait, that's Davis! The number one contender has returned! Davis dropping Basira on her head on the outside. On the guillotine choke! After all... What? She... She tapped! Basira tapped! She... Basira who has never... Basira who has never tapped before... Tap to the guillotine choke of the number one contender. Davis and Hart now just staring at the wounded beast. Well, Bazira wants to fight them both. I think she knows she's in no condition to, though. Wisely getting out of there. So, uh, moving on for that impromptu epic match, Jesus Christ, we are moving to the men's tag team division. Usually Crash would be out here with Bushido, but he is dealing with family troubles back home. We wish him well. And Bushido, Silver, is representing DFA. Looks like he's also repping some new gear, too. Oh, yes. I'm... It's been a very long while since we have seen Bushido just go out and about on his own. Not that he's the youngest member of DFA, but that does not mean he is a rookie by any means. He has been wrestling on and off again for several years and holds many singles championship reigns to his name. Yeah. So, what is it going to be for Silver to run it solo now against a very able J.P. Wolf? You mean Jack Walker? Jack Walker, sorry. I'm very, I'm curious to see how it goes against Jack Walker. Because Jack Walker and he have a similar fighting style. They're both agile and fast, but Jack is a bit more technical using the training he received from Ultras. Yeah, Walker's been on a hell of a hell of a winning thing lately. Oh yes. Here comes Nevermore. Out comes Nevermore. So Jack Walker is the one on the left with the I was about to say with the sunglasses, but they're both wearing sunglasses. Uh, He's wearing the shorter coat with the gold trim. Yes, that's. Thank you. Your knowledge of the English language supersedes my own. Uh, yes, I'm very curious to see how he does here. Jack Walker, like Bushido Silver, is very, very competent as a singles wrestler. In fact, some could argue more so. Be in RSW, people call him the best in the world for a reason. One of the best that to do it without having a world title to his name. Silver stretching against the ropes now. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Uh, huh.
it seems JP Wolf is taking on Bushido instead of Jack. Well, I know I made that mistake earlier, but... Oh, so oh! Taking advantage of the confusion. JP had his eyes off the ball and gets his ribs stomped in. I see he's keeping his bandana on for the match today. Oy. Double Just knees. Shotgun knees in. But some space. Oh! Meteora. Bushido claims it's done. Bushido is scarily fast, man. Oh. JP, though, is able to get out of the way. Super kick! Is that it? He, he collapses. He couldn't get a proper pin due to all the damage Bushido did to him. Wolf earning a backhand and a trip kick and just barely avoiding the moonsault there. Jesus Christ, dude. I can barely keep up with what Bushido's doing. He is practically dancing around JP. JP, though, is able to get in control. Spins him around, goes into a victory roll. The cover. He needs to use his technical wrestling to match Bushido's speed. And it, so far, it seems to be working. Back and forth. Jackknife cover. Barely getting out of it, though. But JP... Ooh, what a nasty, nasty leg lock right there. Beautiful heel hook done by J.P. Wolf. He won. Bushido is not technician, no technician. He has to punch his way out of it. But you can see that submission was effective. Oh, indeed. Bushido is going to be moving a little bit slower. Nice flip kick there. Falls up with that huge super kick. Bushido on the offensive here. Ooh, those knees again. Kicks JP back, though. Bouncing off the ropes. Huge Japanese-style arm. Ooh. Drag, but... Ooh! Uh, catches a split, split right down the middle. It seems JP's targets are Bushido's legs. And right now, it's just working. Bushido is getting slower and slower. JP is able to react to him fast. React him more accurately. Back to the legs now with an Indian deathlock. Normal one. Slowing things down is the best move to take against DFA and Bushido Silver. Silver not having it. Ooh. JP dodges the moonsault. And Ooh. atomic drop. Oh, what's he gonna do here? He, he ties him up. What? Lining up for the kick. Whoa! Right to the tailbone again. That's literally a boot up the ass if I've ever seen one. Oh, he's setting up. Two days to st Ooh. Nope. dodges the two steps to Doomsday. Shido, tilt a whirl arm drag. Single leg drop kick. Shido now on fu run running on all cylinders. Just trying to, trying to, and trying to confuse JP, but JP was not falling for. Oh, never mind. On the ropes, dialing it up. Six one nine. Now giving a little shout to Walker there. Oh, 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 double oh. foot stomp. That's the cover. Brother, JP's ribs ain't just gone. They have been reduced to atoms. That wolf might... That, that runaround might have been to tire out Wolf so he couldn't counter these types of moves as now Bushido raining down the punches. And the kicks. Jesus. Now what's he planning for here? Lining him up for something. Oh my right into God, the Rasengan. 
Into the ribs. And the MTF. It, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrenching back on it. Look at that angle. He's going to break him in half. Wolf is in trouble. Wolf needs to use his technical training. Remember what Altris taught him in order to get out of that hold. Otherwise, he's. I think this he's, is going to be it for I him. I think he's fading here. Oh, gets out of it. Elbows his way out of it. Oh, two steps to Doomsday. I think he's looking to finish this now. Oh, he's going to set him up. Full moon rise. Oh, oh. no. Oh. oh, weeb killer. <laughs> I have never seen a counter to the full moon rising like that. Well, Shido's setting him to the corner now. This could be the end. As I thought, he's going oh, for no. Sayonara. Sayonara, driver. Good, that's ball game. Silver picking up the win. Look at Jack's reaction, man. That was... Huh. If I was Nevermore, I would, I would be reconsidering things after that. JP was so confident that he could beat Bushido, and he got whooped and... Less than 10 minutes. Yeah, this was originally, originally Walker's match, but JP's Wolves overconfidence cost him. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be... Dangerous. For ZK. The last time we saw Damien Drake, he murdered Li Jun. He It's the only match in DBW thus far that was won via rest stoppage. He hit... Li Junzang with Dragon Suplex after Dragon Suplex after Dragon Suplex, targeting the back of his head and his neck until the he he was gone. Li Jun was gone after that match. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to be able to do the same thing with his opponent tonight. Well, usually I would agree, because it's ZK. The dude is one of the most well-decorated people in the COD community, period. But... Ace Wheeler severely damaged his leg. You do not want to face Damian Drake when you're not 100%. Well, ZK's gonna have to find a way now, because here he comes. We were not able to see it beforehand due to the darkness, but I'm seeing on ZK's left leg that knee brace. That is a target. Unfortunately, you are right. Any any fighter worth their salt is going to see that and try to exploit it as much as they can. No doubt, ZK has a wait, has a plan to defend his leg from Damian Drake, but he needs to be careful. He might be so preoccupied defending his leg that he leaves his neck and his head open. Machine indeed, ZK. Indeed. It's strange to think before his match with Ace Wheeler, I would say that he was the betting odds were in ZK's favor. He was the favorite to win this tournament. ZK might still be might still have what takes to be the favorite to win. He just needs to overcome the monster as Davy and Drake. Now the combatants are here. The main event is all set. We are ready for one hell of a showdown tonight. And 
Here we go. Oh, ZK charges in. Oh, no. ZK got, got caught off guard with that first dragon suplex. It seems he wanted to end this match early. Make sure his leg wasn't going to be a factor. Not not a wise move. Damien saw him coming. Damien, however, not targeting the leg surprisingly. Just going for the back of the neck, more or less. Case in point. Ooh. Oh. Well, all of his... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's going to go for that puck kick. Ooh. Oh, swinging the mess, though. DK manages to get out of the way. Uh-oh. Ooh! The snap on that suplex is ridiculous, man. Well, ZK is definitely seeing stars right now. Oh, oh. look at the lawn dart. Oh! Damian Drake gets a taste of his own medicine. We saw earlier tonight just how painful that ring post is. Starting to think someone put razor blades on those ring posts now. I mean, the ring post has sharp edges. They ain't round like in most places. Yeah. Hitting that at the wrong angle is gonna cut you open. It is like running face first into a knife. Those those Ooh. protectors don't do anything. As Damian Drake going for another dragon suplex, but ZK not having it. Oh no! Dead winner! Oh, dead winner! Damien manages to kick out of it. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, you... But he is definitely affected by it, though. Ooh, right into the crossface, though. He's not wasting any time. He's looking to finish this quick. No pizzazz or no showmanship. Just trying to tear his head off. He knows how dangerous Damien is, and he's not going to give him the, t give him the time to end his life like he did with Jun. Yeah, ZK is showing right now that he is definitely a different level than Lee Jun. Yeah. Drake now. Oh, Ooh, that's attempt, the kick. Attempting to get back into it. Eating some knees to the face, including the knee brace one. Ooh. Oh, Gamagori with the good knee. Oh, he's aiming for the ropes. He's going to put him back into the crossface. Ropes and no. Oh, Damien hangs on, though. Oh. What? Oh, Ooh. Heat Seeker pile driver. Jesus. It seems Damien is indeed aiming for his game plan. Most of his move, his finishing moves, the Dragon Buster, the Dragon Driver, they target the back of the neck. It doesn't seem like the Dragon Suplex. Oh no, the leg! Just chop, just chops the leg from right underneath him. He made ZK forget about protecting his leg, and then he just hit it. And a drop kick directly to the knee. Damien Drake is working so deviously and here we go dragon driver stacks him up for the pin whoa a lot of power on that kick out from zk drake realizing he's got to stay on top of him though another dragon Yikes. suplex goes for the pin again Not quite enough. Damien Drake's gonna now. give this man a concussion. They put him in a neck brace. Either way, Drake's looking to cause damage. Big running knee. knee. Right to the jaw. Oh! Dragon suplex into the corner. Damien is just pacing around now, taking his time. Stalking his prey, measuring him. Oh, kicks him back down. ZK, though, he doesn't know when to quit. He's getting right up into a dragon suplex again. How many of those suplexes does he have in him? 
He has as many as it takes. And it doesn't look like he's gonna stop anytime oh, soon. Good God. Huge Saito suplex. And notice, even when even when Drake is taking time to chant at the crowd, Ooh. he is not taking his eyes off of ZK. Incredible focus. To the corner now. Another huge lifting knee. Once again. Oh! This is getting hard to watch. It's like he's now thinks he's weakened him enough. Oh, Dragon Buster. Oh! ZK rolls through. Spins him around. Wait, no way. CTR! CTR landed. Oh! Drake kicks out. But ZK, still confident, aiming to send him off the ropes. ZK's got He's going to tap him out with a cross face. Off the ropes. Oh, Damien. Oh, drop kicks him. He knew Damien was going to hang on again. Gee. Oh, huge basement drop kick. Nearly drop kicked his face off his skull. And now he's... What's he? Oh, 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 it's Ace. Ace, get your, get your mind, get out of here, man. Hey, ZK was ZK ran in on him. Ace can do the same. Damian Drake and now. now a figure four targeting that knee, trying to s slow ZK down and Ace is Wheeler's now on the, the apron. apron Ref, get, yeah, he's ref, getting a better look. Ref, get him off the apron. He can't do that. What if ZK taps when the ref looks away? Then then Ace Wheeler would have caused Damian Drake the match. ZK, Ooh, ZK punches his And way I don't know it. if Wheeler wants to be there with ZK up again. As, oh! Oh, hey! That's not fair! Well, he was warned as ZK comes in with the Wrecking Ball dropkick and- Oh, Superman Punch! That's- that's from Matt! That is from Matt Gray to Ace! Uh, uh, hey, hey Ace, how was- how, how was that close-up look? ZK gets back in the ring. Looking to throw him Third off the ropes again. Third the charm! Into the cross face. Hooks it in right in the center of the ring. Drake has nowhere to go. Oh, come on now, Wheeler. Get out of the ring. Hey, Ace just wants to tell the ref to... what ZK did. He's attempting to pick a fight with the ref. Yeah, the ref didn't do anything. Yeah, why is it? When ZK, ZK disqualified him by... Th oh, Damien is able to get out of the... Oh, oh poke pokes to the, to the eye. eyes. Come on now. Wait. Burning oh hammer! Oh my god, burning hammer! The ref Ace Wheeler making his making his presence scarce now as Damian Drake's lining up. Uh-oh. For oh, no. hidden, hidden dragon. dragon. Oh. Connects hard as Ace Wheeler looks on. I don't think anyone's gonna kick the out cover. a burning hammer and a hidden dragon. Well, that's the end of ZK's tournament run. Some could say Ace Wheeler played a part in that, but a big portion of it went to Damian Drake's skill. Damn you, Ace Wheeler. The favorites now. The favorites now. The tournament. Anything goes. Who knows who gonna who's gonna end up winning the whole thing by the end of it. Yeah, well, it could still be. An it's now anybody's tournament as we close out the show. That was BPW episode eleven. I hope you all enjoyed. Good night, everyone. Have a good night, everyone.